for Raoul Moat is a high-tech operation. The police have everything they need at their disposal. The latest equipment, the best training, and if they need support from special forces, they can have that too. The man they're hunting is an untrained, lone gunman with little or no support. Since the first shootings on Saturday, the police have been tapping into the networks that tell them who is doing what and where. Cash points record every transaction. Petrol stations log car registrations. And mobile phone networks can give the police almost live data on where a switched on phone is. And behind the entire police operation is input from psychologists who can tell officers what moat is likely to do next. I've never met an incident commander that didn't want more options. Uh, the, the, forensic, the job of the forensic psychologist is really to give the incident commander uh, as many options as possible in terms of uh, how to uh, manage the case, in terms of how to uh, speak to the uh, uh, suspect, how to uh, phrase things uh, in a way that's going to have maximum effectiveness to get them to do what you want them to do. The armed response to Moat's crimes is high profile but less obvious intelligence gathering is vital. Human intelligence led them to Rothbury, not high-tech surveillance. The area they're searching is challenging. Senior officers know it's vital to get local people to act as the eyes and ears of the police. People living in this immediate area, then they will have to be vigilant. They'll have to make sure that anything out of the ordinary that you know, has, has anybody been rummaging around in, in you know, the gardens or, or, the, or on the land that perhaps they, they haven't you know, noticed previously. And it's those small pieces of information. Has anything gone missing? Because someone living in has to live. They've got to exist. And um, it, it are these small things. It's a very tight commu community around here. And the smallest thing, I would imagine, would be noticed. And the local police, the police running this investigation, need to know the small things that are just out of place. It will be something, perhaps insignificant, that is the trigger to catching this chap. To underline the importance of human intelligence, the police have put up a £10,000 reward. If someone does know something, but they're not saying, that could be enough to persuade them. And yet, despite everything, Moat is still on the run. It's not impossible that this could go on for days or even weeks. But with so many resources concentrated on the area he's thought to be in, the chances are he'll be found soon. Gerard Tubb, Sky News, Rothbury.